What? Well, what are your thoughts? Do you want to do one year from now or five years from now or? Oh, wow. Um, I don't know. Do you have a preference? Not really. No. Hmm. Five years. What is that? That's 2023. I'm just trying, I'm putting it, you know, getting a context. I'm 58. Hmm. Wow. Well, we can try it. All right. <laughs> do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? Be the guinea pig? Um, it doesn't matter to me. Okay. Um, do you have the timer? And... Yes, I do. <clears throat> Why don't... How much time are we doing? Well, uh, last time we did five. Do okay. Do stick with that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, all right, I'll do five first. Okay, great. Give you some, take the pressure off you. All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Five years, five minutes. Okay, well, it is um, 2023. So it's been five years now of Kylegoing and um, building up like a new kind of me and in the last five years I kind of realized that the first year was just me getting my baby feet with this process and getting that that little growth spurt thing because the first year was was interesting and I grew a lot but I feel like after five years now I've really found like more ways of fulfillment I've slowed down my life enough and I've actually found ways to to just really keep my time and keep my fulfillment going. One of the things that I I toyed with years ago when I thought of moving to my folks' place was and that I finally am acting on is that I, I'm I'm hosting people at my folks place as an Airbnb because I really enjoyed doing that. And I wanted to bring that to other people. So I, I get to meet really great people um, who get to hear the story of my dad building the home and they get to enjoy the pond, they get to enjoy the area and I get to just meet really great people. And sometimes I, I um, you know, I give massage there or, or I do some Reiki with folks who come. And I, I, it's, it's a really fun way to sort of just be without um, trying and and I just get all these folks and we live out in the country so I know that my county and my town is never going to um, regulate this Airbnb because folks are fairly as a whole fairly conservative but they're pockets of liberals and so they're not going to tax anything here so I'm fine with that and um, but um, <clears throat> that and I've also um, purchased a small RV so that I can kind of on the times that I want to, I can go and explore places or I can leave the house and go back up to Minnesota wherever I want during the summer. Um, you know, and just, I can take my, my, um, whatever books I want with me and whatever things that I take with me, I can work seasonally somewhere else if I want and I can just be nomadic and see places that I want to see. And that's been really great, but I just feel like it's not, not forcing it. And I can like work in coffee shops and do some work. I've really pared down my um, web work because I've created a lot of products in the last five years. And I do seminars and webinars, which help me pay for things. And, um, but I have my, my clients that are my favorites that I still keep. And um, I've just really learned that my time is precious and living on less is great. And I don't have to achieve so much. That's, that's the key that's happened to me in the last five years is that I don't feel like I have to achieve so much. I, I'm, I'm in my own person when I'm at, at home and when I'm traveling and when, you know, I can go up to a wooded area and stay in this really great RV park and then just unhitch and just, um, 
you know, take my car and, and travel. And that's made a huge difference. I feel like the stress and like five years ago, I, I had this little, I was under, you know, when I had stress, I would have this little tingly feeling around me that's like, okay, the stress is still there, but that is gone. You know, the whole outside world stress is gone. I've totally embraced this introvert life. Um, you know, realize that I really enjoy just contemplating in nature, sitting by the ponds, just waking up um, when I'm at home in this environment and slowing down and being more at peace because I'm connected rather than connected to a striving kind of feeling, you know, or a, um, or a achievement kind of feeling. And yeah, the first year you really want to achieve. And I think I did achieve a lot in the first year after Kalegoing and I look back and yeah, I did a lot and I achieved a lot. And then, then I just started planning over those next four years, like what was my life going to be like in five years and um, decided that that's what um, was, was good to strive for to, to really stay connected nature and connected with people and really meeting great people and figuring out ways to do that, so that I could be a hospitable force and force. That's an old term. I'm, I'm still trying to get rid of that. Um, I could be a hospitable presence. Yeah. I'm shedding like from those five years ago, I'm shedding my, my um, like forceful terms that I used to do as an achiever. And now I'm kind of like shifting into this presence and um, you know, even my language has changed over the last five years. It's, and things are still falling away like that, but it's interesting. And yeah. And so I feel like my life is even going to go on farther because I don't have the same stress and I love cooking at home and I love, you know, spending time with the pets here and, um, you know, yeah, there's work to maintain the pond, but it's, it's fine. It's, it's what my father did. It's what he did. And he built it 61 and all throughout that. And um, yeah, it's, it's great. I, I, it feels like a happy, calmer place that I'm at. And I, I want to, I love bringing people out here, showing them the pond, showing them what they can see in themselves you know, whether that's through, through Rita's art that I have on my wall, because I could afford to buy lots of her paintings. And um, they could see all of those things that just reflect in themselves with the joy they have with nature and the experience of living. And that was more of what I wanted to bring in long ago anyway. But I was so busy worrying about money, worrying about achieving, worrying about who the next client would be, who the next thing would be. But once I stepped into some things where people just like the Airbnb website in the last five years is like so increased and so boomed that I can, you know, it's like I put things out and I get reviews and I get, they review me, I review them. And, and it's just the snowballing effect. And I'm, I'm booked as much as I want to be here, but I keep my price affordable so that people can, can come here and um, not be pressured, but it's, it helps me. This house is paid for, um, you know, and the, the, the hay gets taken out every year, which pays for the property tax. So I, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a life and I, you know, I'm still trying to get my mom's old job as the church admin. So we'll see, <laughs> I, I think, you know, you know, once the, the person who's there is, done with it and doesn't like it, I think I might just suggest or, or find out if how I can just hop in there because, well, you know, my mom is transitioning and she doesn't want to do it um, as much. She's five years older and, you know, she's got some help in there, but I'd love to have her job just as a nice little 10 hour a week mm -hmm. church admin for the church that I love singing at still. And, um, you know, we don't have to work so much, but just, we can just be so involved. And this is a life that my parents had that I just so envied. And um, I feel really blessed to, 
to be in it. So um, I'm feeling a little emotional even talking about it. So, um, well, but yeah, it's, it's the, the time went, but I didn't want to stop you. Thank you. Yeah, I almost just started <laughs> I needed to kind of yeah. talk yeah. about that. So well, keep going if you want. Oh, I think that if I did, I'd probably start crying. So it's wow. um, crying. This is great. So thank you. Yeah. Wow. wow. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Ah. Ooh. yeah, I didn't know that was going to happen. So. Ah, well, that tells you something. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, take a little break. I'll be right back. So. Sure, no problem. Just to go. Okay. So it's 2023, and Scott and I have been collegoing for five years, and everything is different, but a lot is the same. It's, it's strange that I can say it's all different, but it's some of it's the same. But that seems to be true. And um, like I... I am the way I was. I do what I did when I was a kid. It's just like I knew when I was a kid that making things was what I wanted to do. Creating, inventing, imagining. Um, and that's what I do. That's what I've always done. And um, I'm in this, I'm in this, um, house that has been extremely difficult in in the early years but i've made it into something i'm i saw the beauty in the difficulty and it became a a healing place for me and so i have the home which for a lot of years i didn't i thought that you know i really should sell but I had this feeling in me that, that no, you, you gotta, you gotta hang on to it. There's, there's good coming. And so I did it. And, and so many things I couldn't explain a lot in these five years, I couldn't explain while they're happening, but in retrospect, in retrospect, it makes sense. And I would just, went on faith in, in several uh, instances that turned into great things. So I have, I have my studio, I'm painting. Um, there is pretty much what I can call a waiting list for the next thing on my easel. And I don't, there's not like a deadline to make it happen. It's just when, when Rita, when you paint something, you call up the next, I, I'm the next person on the list, call me, let me see it. And, and if I don't want it, call the next person. And that is just a constant flow. So when that, that first person on the list gets a painting, they go to the other end of the list and the next person gets to uh, line up for whatever else I paint next. Sometimes people put in requests, but a lot of times it's just up to me. They want to, they like my visions and they want to have them in their space to, to help them slow down. And in that five years, I got really confident in that that pace thing where the world believes that you got to just keep going and keep striving. And, and I've never done things the way the world does. And so <laughs> as I was contemplating this new era of my life after motherhood, Joseph is on his own. He's doing great. What is it for me? And I didn't, want to then just start doing what the world does. And um, I, I couldn't convince other people that 
I'm some, okay. I, I, there were people who wouldn't be convinced that that was the way to go, but I found the people who really also wanted that and, um, introverts started finding each other and, um, I have this really nice community of, of people who understand that slowing down. Scott's a big part of that. We, we help other people come into that whole peaceful way of creating and, and trusting that the world, that the universe will reward that reward. Um, you can receive while, being quiet. And so society is almost shifting in a way to, to that kind of mindset that receiving while being quiet is actually a thing. <laughs> and that's my time. Wonderful. Well, that was great. How did that feel for you? Yeah, I felt that, you know, I, I caught myself in certain old stories. I tried to put myself, you know, back to the, the future looking hindsight on what has occurred. Um, it feels so um, like tip of the iceberg. Like in five minutes, you can only talk about just the tiniest bit. <laughs> yeah. Which is surprising to me. But yet there's a big iceberg underneath there. There's a huge, right. totally underneath the, under the water. Mm -hmm. And you know that, yeah, I, I, this was a lot different hearing that from you this time for me. Was it? Was great. I, 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 well, even for both of us, it was a lot different. I felt like both of us slowed down our pace and mm, yeah. Well, you especially got into it with like really slowing down and, and intentionally like, I love that idea of, I love that reality. Let's talk about that. I love that reality five years from now. It's not just an idea. It's happened. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I love that reality five years from now of you having the next thing on the on the easel i love that too and and you just call the next person on your list hi here's a photo of this or here's a video of me talking about what I, what i put into this do you like it yeah if you don't want it the next person gets a call right and and then i'll make the next one for you it's it's just there is something really profound about that i don't know if you if you felt that Mm. I I want to make that happen. However, whatever magic or not magic can can facilitate that, I want to tap into it. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Do that. Two minutes. Okay. All right. Good. I'll I'll supercharge for you for two okay. minutes. And you can do this. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go. Well, it, it is 2023, and I, I really want to acknowledge all the things that you said, Rita. It's, um, you know, since you started doing the Rita's Easel um, thing, um, a lot of other art, you've kind of set a trend for a lot of other original artists out there. It's kind of like this little Facebook trend happened with like all these other artists, like, you know, getting on the bandwagon, but so, but Rita's easel has become a model for other artists and um, people who really like art. And, and you even gotten some high, high paying like celebrities to like be put on your easel and they've decided to pay you some big money just because they want a piece of that too. And they also, you've had to like tell them they have to wait. So I, I kind of really like that, that you, you stuck your ground and you didn't just put them in the front of the list because they, they taunted you with a lot of money. You said, well, you have to wait just like everybody else on my list. Um, I remember you telling me that story with a, um, a really big um, 
you know, software developer giant guru guy that you told me about that will be your name nameless, name will be nameless right now. But um, you you had the courage to to um, tell him to wait, just like everyone else, and and um, and then he wrote you back saying that yeah, I'm so glad that you let me wait because it's arrived at the best time of my life when I really needed it. And um, he rewarded you by like getting, you know, 10 people on your waiting list after they came and saw his painting and got the story. And, um, you know, they went to your site and saw this thing and saw these other comments of people's art. And he, he got 10 people like just from like pretty much he had a party and, you know, 10 of his friends got on your waiting list, like at the end of the night of his party. And, um, you know, so it's your, your wait list is about a year long now. And, and I'm so proud of you for doing all that. And, um, yeah, it's, it's... Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> that was quick. Last time I felt like I had to talk a long time before two minutes. This was quick. Yeah. No, you got a lot in there, though. Fun. Yeah. That's going to be fun to listen to, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Software <clears throat> developer. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's funny because the logo I just did for the liquor store, apparently one of the main customers is um, the um, one of the founders of Microsoft, who goes in there to buy $400, uh, $400 bottles of wine. And the guy just texted me. Oh my God. <laughs> See, this is, the, this is the tingly that started happening right when I started watching Kyle's videos. Yeah. It's exactly this kind of thing. You know, I slowed down enough and just let it happen. Oh, that's a lot of fun. I'll keep you posted. Okay, I do. Okay, I'll do the two. All right. So, Scott, you've been you're down in Missouri. You have your your parents' house. Um, people coming through with the Airbnb, and you, um, you know, just just exactly the right amount of people, and they're they're bringing just this incredible energy to you and the place and they um actually want to help you with maintenance of the pond because it's so cool it's like a a gift to be able to learn that that part of taking care of the land and um you're inspiring other people to to slow down in their lives as well, even if they have to go back to their city. Um, but you're also kind of teaching this um, life of of sustainability to to more and more people, and it. it's like your father is going to be living on and on and on through all of these people spreading that that's the sustainability uh, way of life and that of course only helps the planet it only helps society um and you're just feeling you just filled up with with the joy of that and the the um receiving back from the earth through giving it out in that way and you take off in your rv um, and that, you, and by doing that, you meet other people who want to come to the property and you've just got this whole network of, of cool people who are, who are feeding that, that part of you and feeding the planet. And it's just turned into something beautiful. Mm. Thank you. Wow. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> You're right to want to do this every week, I think. Ah, uh, yeah. Or at least for another, like for this week too. I totally mm -hmm. did this today. 